Hello, God bless you so much. This is the Real Money Me Show, and I'm your Lady Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Odo. You know, as we do it every Monday, 10 p.m. to 10.30 on Praise TV, please call a friend, call a brother, call somebody and tell the person the Real Woman in Me Show we are live. And remember, we are streaming live on Facebook at the Real Woman in Me page, YouTube, the Real Woman in Me, Instagram at the Real Woman in Me. I don't know what is going on in your home. I don't know what is happening. I don't know how you are brought up but by the grace of God this evening I'm going to speak to you about the power of a woman I want to tell you that what you carry as a woman your responsibilities your rights and the things you must know as a woman before you venture into marriage I know you can't wait for it but give me a minute after the break when I come back we are going to start everything and you're going to enjoy it stay tuned Yes, welcome back, and this is the Real Money Me Show. I'm your lady, Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Joe. You know, one thing I want us to talk about is that many people have lost their place. Many young, beautiful young ladies out there don't know who they are. They, you see, the, 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 the misconception in this world is that if you're a beautiful young lady, you need to make use of your body and get something or get something out of your youthful stage to, 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 to support your family. But I also have something I want to tell you that when God was creating the woman, God, is, God used the woman as the point of worship, as a point of celebration. It's so every woman, you, you are a point of celebration to everybody's life. After their point of struggle, after everything they've gone through, God brought the woman to come into the life of the man and make everything complete. Listen, don't just marry anybody because you think this man is the right man for you. He can help you. Some people marry because the man is already made. The man has money. The man has everything, properties and all that. Yes, it is good to get somebody who is already made who has financial support and everything. But let me tell you this, you the woman yourself, the things you carry, you have no idea. The reason why I see some young ladies and, and the way they are wasting their youthful age, I, sometimes I wish I could talk, talk to all of them for them to know at your youthful age, that is where God wants to use what is inside you to put you on the platform where any man that comes into your life will respect and honor you. But what do we see now? Everybody wants to marry and get opportunity, get a home and get all that. But one thing that I love so much is to see a young lady who is standing on her own, beautiful, and not compromising for the world, compromising for anybody, misusing her body for nothing, but rather using her brains and her body to make use of the things God has given to her. I was watching one beautiful video and I want to talk to you about it. I saw a guy, let me say a man, with a side chick. Whilst they were eating in the restaurant, the wife stepped in and then saw the husband and the side chick. And then the wife sat down with them, being nice and everything. You know, the moment the wife entered, many people would expect her to misbehave. But this time she was so nice and so beautiful. She sat down and was like, oh, my beautiful young lady, you look so beautiful you are slim and all that. When I was not married, I was just like you, but after giving birth for this man that you are sitting here with, look at me, I'm putting on weight, but anyway, it's okay. Whatever you are eating, I want to eat the same thing. She was being nice to all of them, but this side chick was very uncomfortable. Do you know why? Because she has stolen something that is not hers. But this woman owns this man, so she's confident to talk. And this side chick was shaking all over. Why would you want to go through this process? Do you know why they want to go through that? They want to make it easy. This man may be sponging, buying cars, renting an apartment and all that for. But what you are showing today, tomorrow, the same thing will be happening to you. They don't believe. Somebody told me, mommy, there's a church. I want to marry a young lady. And the pastor told the young lady that if me, the man, financially, if I don't have much, if I'm not building my house and all that, then the lady shouldn't marry me. And yes, the lady has canceled the marriage. And I said, wow. Go and ask that pastor when he began this church. Was he okay? Did he begin as a uh, dadaba and all that? You know, we should know that in life there are processes. We move from one before we go to two. 
There are young promising young guys around that they have potentials. They, they have dreams, they have future. You see, that man that you see today that is already made, has money and all that. When he was young, somebody also saw him, stood with him, and today he's a big man who has got money. And you want to get up overnight to enjoy it. Let me tell you, you may enjoy it today, but you'll pay for it tomorrow. I saw this young girl. Now she was uncovered. The woman said, if you get up from your seat, I will slap you. So let's be nice for everybody to know that we are okay. Let's play along and all that. You see... Don't take what is not yours. I have seen so many younger, promising young, beautiful girls. That now all they want is sugar daddies. All they want is somebody's husband. Be careful where you are treading. There are some women, if you dare with their husbands, you will die young. So what we see now is that many people are dying young because they, 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 they've caused people pain. They've caused people, people for their homes to collapse. You are taking somebody's husband and you think you are fine. You think you'll be okay. You just want a car to drive. You want a, a good apartment to have. You, you want to buy the good things. Go to Dubai. Go to the hospital. Whatever the best thing. You want everything best. You don't know how to suffer to end your own thing in life. You don't know how to fight for your own things. You see, the beautiful thing is that you've been able to work things up and you can enjoy it today. That is a beautiful thing any woman can do. I love it when Proverbs 31 says something. That woman, she, she considers a merchant and she buys it. She, she takes it. She, 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 she's a pride of a man. Every woman should be a pride. It should, it should be a point where your husband will celebrate you. Not a point where every man thinks you are lying, you know, you know, that the man feels as if you are betting onto him. You are not using what is inside, you are not using your potentials, you are not using your God giving gift. I wish one day a young lady would get up and start creating things and start, you know, attracting young ladies to also get something doing with their life. There are many people who have gone to university now, but they are not working with what they learned on campus. Do you know why? Because they've got the easiest way to make money. Oh, my dear beautiful young lady, this money you're making today, tomorrow you will cry for it. This money, this good dresses you want, sometimes I wonder, it's all about how I look, it's all about what I wear. Yes, they are good, but I love it when you are able to sacrifice your joy today and make it tomorrow to enjoy it. Now, when a young guy approaches a beautiful young lady and the guy speaks about future with a young lady, the young lady will ask questions, where do you stay? What work do you do? What car do you drive? Oh, my young lady, is that what you're concerned about? Life is more than a car, than what they wear. Life is more than a job they do. There is more you can do and bring out of that person. She may, he may be a banker today, but maybe banking is not what God has destiny for him. Maybe when you walk with him along, along the line, something good can come between the two of you and you will create your empire. And 20 to 10 years to come, many young ladies will look at you and you will inspire them. You, you see, I want my beautiful young lady to know this. When God finished creating everything, the man had his place. When you read Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, and then he said, he said, it's not good for a man to be alone. Therefore, God made a helpmate for, for the man. But when God was creating the woman, God took a lot of things, you, you know. You see, God giving the woman to the man, it's like God giving his precious gift to the man. The woman is a precious gift. Please, if you know who you are, you will not let any man misuse your body you not let any man walk over you but rather you will let the men celebrate because every woman is a point that God wants to use as a worship I call my woman the woman the altar of worship woman you are the altar of worship every great man needs an altar to stand on every great man needs a pulpit to stand on and that pulpit is what makes that man a man are you going to be an altar of worship for that man are you going to be a point where the man will draw his strength and this anointing form. Are you the point where you will destroy the man or you're the point where you bless the man? Young ladies, please. I see some young ladies and they think that the social media is there for them to expose their body. They said it's modern, beautiful. I have nothing against it. But what you're doing today, 20 years to come, I don't know whether you'll be happy. See yourself that naked and make money. Yes, money is good, but some money, some money will be a torment in your life for the rest of your life.
some kind of jobs you put yourself into will torment you for the rest of your life you see don't let anybody tell you let me be your producer let me be your manager expose yourself and let's make money and i will provide everything for you ask that man if you were his child will he allow you to do that he will not allow any of his family to go and expose himself or herself on social media, but he will allow you to do it and tell you oh, it's good, it's a good business. Yes, yeah, a good business, but some years to come, you'll regret it. The woman is an altar of worship. Woman, you are an epitome of beauty. It's not beauty about how you look. Yes, they are also very important, but there's a beauty inside every woman. That beauty modifies all that beauty, brings a man to a point where everybody will celebrate him. That is the woman. That is my kind of woman I'm talking about. My dear young lady, you didn't know and you messed up in the past, but as you're listening to me, let's learn and be a pride to men. Don't just be a, a, a point when, when a man wants to release, he just uses you and then dump you. Don't be the woman when a man wants to have sex and when a man feels honey, he just has to just call, make a call, and then you are just running because you will get some coins, let's say you can get some dollars or pounds. My dear, that man who is giving dollars and pounds has got many, he has got a lot. What is given to you is nothing. Go home and see the wife. The wife controls everything. Your fellow woman is controlling, is owning, is owning properties. And you, as a side chick, want to just take $1,000 and you think you've got the whole world. I'm sorry, but let me use this. Shame. You are too much. You are more than that. You are worth more than that. If somebody told you, you are worth nothing, tell the person, you may not want me, you may not accept me, but God has accepted me. I am worth more than what you think I am. Beautiful young ladies, get up. Find something to it. Respect who you are. Love who you are. Don't let them misuse you. You see, even the Bible says that as they know, flee from fornication. He knows, God knows what he was saying. But today, we think marriage or relationship is all about sex. It's our body. So I see young ladies who want to get shape, who want to get breast, who want to get everything just to entice men. If that is what you want in life, I tell you, you won't go anywhere in life. Your life is limited. Let me tell you, those who are doing that, give them 10 years to come. There will be nowhere to be found. And when you see them, you will cry for them. But stand tall and tell yourself, I will not sell myself or because of money. I would rather sleep on the street to make the money and be proud of it tomorrow. I have seen somebody who had nothing was just a kayo. Somebody who carries people things in the market and they give her change. She had a dream of going to university. She had a dream of creating a whole, a, a very big company. But from where she was coming from, there was no help. She stayed with her stepfather and her stepfather wanted to sleep with her. But this girl ran away from the house because she was not ready to sell her pride for the stepfather. Because of what she would eat and where she would sleep. So she went to the street and on the street and she went to hell. She went to difficulties. Sometimes she said, mommy, I cry on the street because at night I'm scared who will come and rape me. I'm scared who will come and kill me. There, there's nowhere to sleep so I hide from corner to corner. But let me tell you, in all that, God was watching this young lady. Do you know God wanted to see if she'll be able to stand, if she, she'll be able to go through the point. Because where God was taking her, it's not something she can joke with. So she has to go through the process. Today, this girl was able to do the car, carrying people's things in the market, save the little money she got. And let me tell you, she was able to go to the university. I tell you, my God, you can do it if you want to do it. You will be able to acquire it if you want to acquire it. It's not about sleeping with a man. It's not about trying to beg a man to give you something. If somebody says that, mommy, uh, you know, he's the one paying my school fees, so therefore, who tells you if he doesn't pay, you can't pay. Who says? Sometimes he may delay. Write the vision down. At the appointed time, it shall come to pass. It means that he may delay, but it's still my dream. It may look as if it's not going to work, but it's still my dream. 
I'm writing it down, pasting it down. I'm feeling proud to tell myself, I can do it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Maybe my colleagues are making, they're driving a good car, they dress good. I remember one day somebody said, oh, look at that woman. What, what, what is she wearing? What designer? I said, oh, you're thinking about my designer? You're thinking about what I'm wearing? It doesn't matter, but give me 20, 30 years to come. You, the same person, will celebrate my own brand because I am not going to wear somebody's brand. I'm going to wear my own brand. I'm going to create this myself because your, your designer, the so-called you called, I don't want to mention names, they, they, it, 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 it is your own fellow man or fellow woman who created it. I am not here to enjoy somebody's creation. I am here to enjoy my own. I want to be celebrated because that's how God has made me. I am a celebrated woman. Tell somebody I am a celebrated woman. Don't cheapen it. Hold it. Hold it and keep it. Hold it. Hold on for me. I'll be right back after the break. Just stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. This is the Real Woman Image Show. I'm your late Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Tetro. Remember, we are streaming live on Facebook. Go to my page, The Real Woman in Me. YouTube, The Real Woman in Me. And go to Instagram, at The Real Woman in Me. Thank you for staying tuned with me. God bless you for watching. I know you are learning something. I know you are saying to yourself, I want to make correction. I know you are saying to yourself, I need to change things in my life. Yes, I also made a decision years ago. I remember when um, I had to go to Sunyani and all that because my situation around uh, my, my parents were so, so bad. Sometimes I feel uncomfortable because where we were staying was so bad. Uh, you know, sometimes when you don't have anybody to hold on to, we, we had so many things. Sometimes we needed somebody to, to encourage and tell us you can do it. I had one friend, I'm not going to mention it, but I had one friend that always told me, you know what, I know what is inside you. I know, you, I, I know what you can do. I wasn't married then. He tells me every time, he tells me that, you know, there's something beautiful inside you. Even I didn't believe it because my surroundings were so bad. My, 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 the people I look up to, everybody disappointed me. So I was torn between what to do with life. What to do? And, and there were so many opportunities to sleep with men, get money, take care of myself, take care of my family. There were so many opportunities. But, but do you know something? I, 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 was, I was having this fear of defiling my body. That was one thing I scared. I was so scared of just allowing just anybody to have access to my body. I thought my body was a temple. I didn't know much then, but I felt my body is so sacred that I needed to keep it safe. But this friend was so close to me, you know, very close to me. But he always tells me, don't you ever give up. You can do it. You, you, there's a lot I see in you. Sometimes when he says that, I don't believe it. But when I'm in the point of crying, when I feel so bad, so alone, and I, I feel like giving up and also allowing men to sleep with me. I remember the words he tells me and it encourages me a lot to stand. You need somebody to encourage. I'm telling you, you can't do it without somebody telling you you can do it. You know, those words kept me. Those words made me feel so important because there were people that told me there's nothing good in you. They, they told me I can't do anything. They rather made me feel as if I am nothing. I know you're going through the same thing. There are so many young girls that are going through the same thing. They feel like they are nothing. They feel they are worth nothing because people around me tell them, come on, you just need to get a guy, sugar daddy, sleep around, get money, get a good car, enjoy yourself and all that. But I come to realize life is not just about driving a car or getting a good house, there's good dresses and all that. No, there is more to life than what you wear. So that is why when it comes to me, I don't care what I wear. I don't care whether it's a designer or not. Because me, myself, I'm a designer of my own. <laughs> because there's something in me that brings me out. I don't care how you see it. I don't care how the world sees. But I, I care about how my creature sees me. I am so happy any time I get the opportunity to speak to somebody. You say, I don't joke with it because who am I to get that opportunity? Because from the, the ghettos, from the gutters, from the streets, he picked a nobody and he made me a mouth, a mouth, a mouth, I don't know, peace to, to speak to big people like you. You can also do the same thing, my dear beautiful young lady. It's, it's not sleeping around. It's not just, sorry, cheaping yourself around. Or because in the name of car. In the name of apartments, you do know what you can do in the next five, ten years. You can own your own companies if only you can use what is inside you. 
this friend sometimes tells me that I see a dream inside you. I see a lot of things inside you. I know, I know, I know you carry. He tells me you, you carry, you have a strength. And many people that come close to you can't stand your strength. So because of that, they will try to fight you. He, now I understand the strength he was talking about. I, I, I'm not like anybody. I'm like what God wants me to be. Don't stop, stop comparing yourself to anybody. You are beautiful. You are special. You cannot be compared to anybody. You can't be like anybody. You are you. That gave me confidence. So sometimes when I'm at the point of giving up, I tell myself, you carry strength. And, and that strength alone has kept me to this far. I always look back and I say to myself, if I had not met this friend, I don't know what would have happened to me because though I thought I was too hard, I thought I was a ghetto girl or all that, I needed somebody to tell me, you can do it. Because it gets it. Sometimes I cry a lot. I, I make mistakes, wrong decisions, giving up. So sometimes when I see my young girls making a mistake, I don't blame you because you need somebody to encourage you. If that friend wasn't there for me, I wouldn't know where I would have been. But God brought him into my life. And he has been a blessing to me. And, and I tell you this, you can do something. And when I married my husband, I thought getting married was the best way to escape, you know, escape everything and, and be there and all that. My motive of getting married, maybe I made a mistake by thinking that way. There was more to marriage I didn't know. But thank God for my marriage. Because it has been the good process, hard process. It has not been easy. A very hard process where I have been through the fire to come out the way I am today. Now I've come to realize that without the fire, you cannot be the, the brand you want to be. Without going through the hot fire, my own, sometimes I tell my friend, you know what, I'm tired. I can't do it. He said, no, no, you can't be tired because there's too much fire to say you are tired. My marriage and my life today, I tell you, it has not been easy. Young lady, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's never easy. It's still not easy. But I'm more relaxed because God has never failed me. He's always faithful. Let me tell you, sex or sleeping around with people that have not married you is the biggest mistake you can ever do in your life. You will live to regret I cannot pick somebody today that I can say that I had sex with before I married. No. No. I married when I was a virgin. Even my friend that I talk about, I don't think he knows. I married when I was a virgin. It was a shock to people. So the day of my marriage, after the marriage Sunday, my husband stood at the church and said that, can you believe this? She's a virgin. And my family, my mother looked at me and said, she? Yes, but even my mother. My siblings, they thought, because I was the worst one. I was the one they thought, there's nothing good in her. But I felt my body was so sacred. I believe in my temple. I don't know, but as, as young as I was, I was so scared for anybody to touch my body. God kept me. He can still keep you. Maybe you've messed up. Maybe you didn't know people have slept with you, they've raped you and all that. It is your story. My story cannot be your story. Yours is special. But in your speciality, God is going to use you as a testimony to others. Beautiful young lady, you carry a lot to let men use or misuse you. You are a temple of worship. You are an altar of worship to God. And you are too beautiful to let men misuse you. Make use of what God has given to you. Don't ever rely on sleeping with people before you can make it in life. Some people say you need to connect yourself. Yes, my connection is from above. When divine power connects you, men will draw at your feet and be a blessing to you. Hold on to me. Hold on to God. Hold on to me. That's the word I always hear from God. He says, hold on to me. Hold on to me. I've held on to him. I'm still holding on to him. He has never failed me. It's not easy. Yes, somebody said, Mom, it's not easy. Yes, I know my beautiful young lady. But God still wants you. He want to use you. He wanted to come closer to him. That is why I'm here to speak to you. I'm not here to judge you. But I'm here to tell you. There is a strength in you. There is something beautiful in you that the world is about to see if only you give them the chance to see it. Make use of it. My name is Reverend Mr. Charlotte Joe, and this is the Real Woman Image Show. Please.
You are beautiful. Hold it. Keep it. Your body is sacred. It's a temple of God. Stay tuned. Every Monday, 10 p.m. to 10.30, press TV. Tell somebody we are streaming live.